her desires are an abomination. The punishment will befit the crime. She is receiving hers. You will receive yours. Why does it have to be like this? You have strayed from the path that destiny has laid for you. You tell me what it means, Thelma, or I'll find out myself. I can't get used to the mark. I'm serious. And I am blind. So unless there's something that you can do for me. I can take you to Ella. Ella is a real full, independent girl. She needs someone strong, a man like you. Have you any idea what will happen? Curse. And they are not monster-slaying shoes. What's this in aid of? Hello? Can you hear me? I mean, I know I'm dead. My fashion sense isn't that bad. Ella? Boom! Not a private room. That's right. So I got to let yeah? I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. So, how are we all? Not nearly as good as you. That's because I'm the luckiest girl in the world. Please, I'm trying to eat my lunch. Me, didn't you? Good afternoon. You wanted me to shag her all along. I merely applied a touch of reverse psychology. It has had an extraordinary effect on both of you. I don't feel any different. You will. She's following me around like a lovesick puppy. What's going on? She's been neutralized. Her soul is dead. And? In plain English? Well, as far as that is concerned, she's just a normal 17-year-old. That'd be a bit dippy. You mean she doesn't know that she's an anointed one? Or that I'm... You're merely the man she wants to please the most. Yeah, let me take those. So, how are you feeling? Not got the urge to kill me? No. Why? What have you done? Nothing. You're behaving very strangely today. Oh, I'm behaving strangely. Oh, I didn't mean it in a bad way. Oh, stop talking. And take these books to class. I don't know which one I want to slap more. But you know that she can't see me. She can't even remember who she is. <sighs> you know, I used to think he genuinely liked her, but it was all just part of the plan. The only person he genuinely liked is himself. I must say I'm very impressed by your composure, but not at all impressed by her. I used to wish she'd become normal. I think she has. 
can't stand it. It's like she's a different person. No, no. The real Ella is in there somewhere. We just cannot reach her at the moment. But there is a way. The same way as always. Kill the boy. Then why don't you do it then? I wish. <laughs> but we angels cannot really interfere with life. Didn't you ever wonder why no one answered your prayers? But I can. Would you do that for her? Would it definitely bring her back, even though I'm not an anointed one or anything? Well, that certainly would put you at a disadvantage, but there are ways around it. You will have to use the knife of Orokaya. Only that will cleave body and soul. We don't want him returning as another ghost, do we? Quite like the clothes I've got, actually. They're sort of the last remaining part of me. You're not gonna freak out on me, are you? I don't freak out. Maya, you stormed off because of a little mark on your neck. That was completely different. Anyway, it's gone now. So, are you ready for a bit of window shopping? Maybe. Come here. Which one should we go for first? Hmm? Maybe not that one. I don't know why we bother with all this. Well, you're going to spend your life cooking, cleaning and looking after me. So you don't need to worry about a career. That's true. Why don't you go and find yourself a recipe book? Get a head start on things. Okay. Why are you suddenly ordering her about? Why is she taking it? I have no idea. I certainly wouldn't. I know. That's why I like you. Yes, well, I'm afraid I don't have any cookery skills. I bet you make up for it in other ways. Hey. How are you feeling? Good, yeah. Listen, Leon, I wanted to say thank you. What for? For being so understanding about Malachi. I wouldn't say that. No. You could have made things really difficult. Yeah. Well, if he makes you happy. Which he clearly does. It's weird. I, I don't feel stressed anymore. I, it's as if he's taken all my worries away. You must be a magician. <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> all right, this is the last one, then we'll call it a day, OK? If you don't want it, I certainly do. No, I like her. I can see me in that. I hope you're talking about the clothes. We're about the same size. She reminds me of someone I used to know. All right, that's enough. Time to be getting on. <clears throat> I thought this was something I had to go through. Another day, maybe. I'm not sure you're ready yet. If she'd been ugly, then do you think I'd be ready? No. You seem to be suggesting that I'm jealous. Which, of course, you're not. Then you won't mind if I have another look. <laughs> Maybe if I just have... Oh, for God's sake, just strip her naked and let's get out of here. I think the flames need feeding. I will do it. You look great. So do you. I wonder how that girl died. Peacefully, in her sleep. Do you think there's a way for us to die properly? Not that I want to at the moment. I don't know. But I do know one thing. Those flames are going to go out soon.
This is the strangest therapy. Sorry. I know I'm a bit late. Oh! Where have you been? Solving global warming. So, what's happened? She's happy. Huh? Maybe we should just leave her. You are joking. She can't see me. Now, what are we going to do about it? OK. Well, apparently, the real Ella is still in there somewhere. Wait, who's telling you all this? Archangel Raphael. Interesting. I played him in the nativity once. Well, I have the feeling he's slightly darker in real life. So how do we get her back? I'm gonna rescue her. Oh. Leon Taylor, superhero? Leon Taylor, Malachi Slayer. Ella? Ella, please tell me you can hear me. All right, I never wanted to do this to you, but you leave me no choice. seeing Ella following you around. I think I preferred her when she was being more difficult. At least now she's not trying to kill me. That was what you wanted. No, yeah, of course. Now you can concentrate on the hearts and minds of men. Are they really that important? They're God's most precious commodity. And I must waste them all. That's the general idea. I guess it could be fun. Malachi, this is a serious business and not to be entered into lightly. All right. So how does it work? Within each of us, there is a desire we hold so deep we may not even be aware of it. A desire so strong that if we gave into it, it would take control of our very being. And you want me to feed that desire? Just like you did with Thelma. They can't all be that easy. Oh, I think you'll find that humans are incapable of resisting temptation. And who can blame them? Except God. I think he'll be too busy blaming me. I think it's enough. My friend, this is enough to disable the whole of hell if you fancy a trip. <laughs> Look, I've seen what this shit did to Ella. Honestly, will it work on him? Honestly, it will remove all his powers. But I'm afraid you will have to do the rest. But don't worry, you have the advantage of surprise. I am assuming he suspects nothing. Mm. I'm still kissing his ass, if that's what you mean. Leon, I understand this is a very big task for a mortal. And you have not spent your entire life preparing for it. And I am sorry that she has placed you in this situation. 
But if you do care about her at all, then there is only one course of action. The boy has made a fool of you. If we let him, he will make idiots of us all. I know. If you have any doubts. I don't have any doubts. Good. You will get your rewards in heaven. Yeah. Hopefully not too soon, though, eh? I went into Ella's dream. No, don't look at me like that. How else am I supposed to communicate with her? Fair point. What did she say? She was dead. Now, that is not right. You can't die in your dreams. It's gonna be okay, Thelma. After I kill Malachi, everything is gonna go back to normal. I can do it, you know. I know. Then what's the problem? Oh, shit. I'm sorry, I completely forgot. He dies, I disappear. Bit of a bummer, eh? So, what do you want me to do? Exactly what you planned. It's best for Ella. Best for everyone, really. Except you. Well, it's not like I've got anything to live for, is it? You can eat as many as you like, so long as you don't lick your lips. Oh, God, what's wrong? Sometimes I think things are so good with us, and then it's like I've lost you completely. It's nothing, really. Well, you clearly have this other life you keep running off to. I don't know what you think I'd do when you're not about. I'm sorry. It's complicated. What? What is complicated? It's nothing. It's just... You've got somebody else, haven't you? It's happened to me once before. No, why would you think that? Well, it's like your mind's elsewhere. It's thinking about her or whoever she is. You are the only person I'm interested in. It just scares me, that's all. OK, now I'm totally confused. I don't want to lose you. Well, that's not likely, is it? I'm not going to die on you. <laughs> no, I guess not. So will you cheer up? Nothing bad is going to happen with us. As long as you don't lick your lips. <laughs> Are you guys ever going to forgive Roxanne? You've no idea what happened. Yeah, it's weird to think there was a time when you weren't around. I managed to do enough, to be honest. It's actually been quite nice these days. <laughs> I can't even remember what she did. Uh, help put you in a mental asylum? Oh, yeah. Maybe we should have left you there. <laughs> You've got to head in. What for? Art appreciation? Oh, a load of bollocks. Stay here for a bit of life appreciation. You're not coming. Neither are you. Sit down. We'll stay. Of course, you will. So, what do you say? Sit down, Tom. Life's too short. That's more like it. So, Tom, <clears throat> talking about how to get the most out of life, I can't help thinking that you could use a bit of female company. How do you feel about Ella? This is the right classroom, yes. And it is the right time. So where is everyone? I have no idea. You know, are you worried that you could die never knowing what it feels yeah. like? Well, it's not like I've never... 
with anybody. I mean, I'm not a virgin. Oh, come on, Tom, we're all friends here. There's no need to lie to us. There's nothing to be ashamed of, especially when it can be so easily fixed. I bet you think about it all the time, don't you? I know I do. I bet you've even thought about what it would be like with Ella. She's your girlfriend. Well, that's his maybe. She's a free agent. I mean, I don't own her. <laughs> I'm sure she can make up her own mind. Exactly. What do you think, darling? I think I can think of worse things. In here, right now. So, are you gonna leave any women for the rest of us? <laughs> Sorry, mate. I've never Roxanne. Listen, uh, do you fancy a drink later? Sure. Shall I come to you? That way we can avoid my desperate roommate. Yeah, all right then. What are you doing? Don't do that. I'm looking for this knife of Orakaya. Oh. Where do you think she keeps it? In the chest. What's that? I don't know. Are you doing this because you want her back? What if you kill him and discover all she feels is hurt and angry? Well, that's a risk I'll have to take. What if they put you in prison? You'll have to come and visit me then, won't you? I won't be around. Sorry, it's just hard. I don't have any choice. I know. He was offering her to Tom as a sex slave earlier. <laughs> <laughs> this is one weird situation. You can say that again. <laughs> the chest's under the bed. It's where she always keeps it. Thank you. Interesting tactics you employed with the boy. You clearly have a talent. Well. Well, it doesn't take much imagination to figure out what Tom desires. They obviously trust you. I know. It's hilarious. The more people you bring under your power, the more powerful you will become. Their souls will nourish you. Probably already begun. I don't think so. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. Wow. You couldn't do that before. Do you think it'll work? Oh, yes. What he's about to receive, the Lord is truly grateful. Yeah. Well, I'm not doing it for the Lord. I'm doing it for Ella. As you please. That should be enough. So, wish me luck. Say a prayer, do whatever it is you archangels do. 
We watch and wait. Have faith, Leon Taylor. David slew Goliath. It has been done before. I thought that was just a story. A good one, though. Goodbye, Elodie. You and I have had some strange times. It's probably fitting that it should end like this. We didn't exactly get off to the right start. What with you killing my best friend and all. But we've come a long way since then. I have to say, now I see you more like a sister. Sometimes an evil stepsister, but still the best I've got. I wish you could have met Maya. I think you'd like her. She's funny and intelligent and beautiful. I want you to look after Leon, Ella. For such a useless jerk, he's actually turned out all right. In fact, I think he's the only truly honorable person I know. I'm glad I met you, Elodie. You really are an extraordinary person. I just wish I could be there when you get back to normal. And not just to tell you what a prat you've been these past two days. Maybe we'll meet again. <laughs> Till then, Do is something to take the edge off the evening. It's a bit early, mate. How about a beer? Yeah. Cheers. Listen, I wanted to say sorry for freaking out earlier. I can't help it. When I start to like someone, I become a jealous not case. It's understandable. No, it's not. Which is why I got you this. I thought it could go with your new outfit. It's perfect. Thank you. You were right, though. There is something I need to tell you. God. It's not what you think. Minute. There's no easy way to say this. Stop. Before you do, I just want to say, I love you. Whatever it is you tell me, I mean that, absolutely. I love you. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> really? I'll say it if you want it. I really do. Totally genuinely. Love you, Mary Robertson. Good. So I guess you've noticed that Ella is behaving strangely. No. Maybe a little. <laughs> I suppose you want to know why. Do you know what? I really don't. I'm actually quite enjoying being out of the loop. You don't want her back? 
Because I reckon you enjoyed playing out of your league. I think it made you feel special. through life with such high expectations. It is. <laughs> it was a birthday present from my granddad. We've been up waiting for an occasion. I guess I'll just down it on my own. All right. I'll go and get some. Are you sure? Oh, absolutely. You're the guest. Don't touch the bourbon. I'm serious. Neil's trying to kill you. <laughs> trying to convince me that he doesn't want Ella, yes. But trying to kill me, no. I don't have any reason to lie. The drink is laced with St John's wort and he has the knife of Orochiah strapped to his back. You're kidding. <sighs> I didn't think that you had it in him. Why are you telling me this? You're Leon's friend, aren't you? Could it be something to do with the fact that if I die, you disappear? You finally found a reason to live, have you? I knew that Maya's death wouldn't be in vain. It's really good having you on board, Thelma. What are you going to do? Nothing that harms you. I admire you, Leon. It's a downright dirty world, but I suspect you've got good motives at heart. Yeah. I like getting pissed. The problem is, good very rarely prospers. I just don't think people find it as interesting. Cheers. I guess you have to ask. Does staring danger in the face make you courageous? Or just downright daft? I have no idea. You're getting very serious. And you're getting very drunk. Yeah. I am, actually. Suffered, you'd think he'd give up fighting for her. Don't get all philosophical on me. I think we've humoured him too long. It's time for a different course of action. Is that really necessary? Whose side are you on? Boy is harmless. He won't be missed then, will he?
I don't think pacing is going to help. Who are you? Raphael? No. I work for the other side. Well, it's not like you're desperate to save him. On the contrary, I've grown rather fond of the boy. That's a bit of a conflict of interests. We have very little time, Thelma. Cyril is extremely good at his job, and I think we both know what that is. So why don't you just call him off? That power, unfortunately, lies in less sympathetic hands. Ella is the only one who can help you now. The language of dreams is the language of our primeval fears. You must find a way to speak to her, Thelma. to explain. Leon needs you. I'm back.
better. What do you want? To, to, to congratulate you on seeing the error of your ways. I knew you wouldn't stray from the path for too long. It's lonely out there without us. Is there anything else? Please, don't be so difficult. We're family, you and I. It is here. You should be seeking solace, not in the arms of another. It's right here. Right, Raphael. Give in to temptation. Release that pent up desire and join the other side. Wouldn't you rather be fallen? Oh, that's the creed. That you will serve me. I don't serve anyone. Creep back to your master, Raphael, and tell him I work on my own. Liam can be a bit of a twat sometimes. <laughs> He's all right. No, I don't think he respects you, Tom. I think he keeps you around because you make him feel good. No, I don't think that's true. Oh, really? Then why didn't he invite you for a drink with us last night? Hmm? As soon as something better comes up, he drops you. Don't put your trust in him, Tom. He ain't worth it. Bloody hell, what is with her? Uh, better deal with this one online. Clear once and for all. Any feelings I had for you, they've gone. Any doubts about the job I had to do, gone. So put your armor on, Malachi. It's time to go to war. Want me to suck you off, Tom? Have you found another willing whore? Something tells me she's not the submissive one anymore. I don't think it needs stitches. Good. Because I'd have a bit of a job explaining how it got there. Mm. Leon, I'm really grateful for everything you did. But maybe next time you shouldn't get involved. It's too dangerous. Have you any recollection of how you behaved? It's a bit hazy. So, you don't remember running around like a slave? Branded his property? Hmm? Carrying his books? Please, don't. Offering yourself to Tom? What? Oh, yeah. Watching that was worse than the Nephilim. OK. I admit. I couldn't have done it without you. That's more like it. We're a good team. Yeah. Well, I always knew that. So how do you think Devil Child worked out you were going to do him in? I hate to say it, but... There's only one logical conclusion to that. Shag. We both fell under Malachi's spell. And unless you do something about it, we won't be the last. <laughs> That's why Malachi's got stronger. He's feeding off his succubi. By destroying her, we can destroy him. You mean killing her? <laughs> <laughs> 